Hello again, everybody. Well, today we are way out of the beaten path out in Clark Range, Tennessee, kind of on the Cumberland Plateau and in between Knoxville and Nashville. And we're going to check out something interesting. I've been wanting to come to this place for a while. Say hello to the Cumberland Mountain General Store. Looks like it's been here for a while. I think we are going to have a good old time. So let's go in here and take a look and see what we can see, shall we? Let's go have some fun. Well, this is pretty cool custom work. Look at this. That is a beautiful bike. But we're going to go over here and take a look. I can barely contain my excitement. Just look at all of these really cool old signs. on this side real quick. Okay, that's pretty cool. Antiques and old stuff. Wow, just look at all of this. You got Jack Daniels barrel lids. Those are thread spools. Looks like there's a Ramona brand potatoes, little brave potatoes. This is definitely stepping back in time. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Coca-Cola salt and pepper shakers. Just in case people need to know where their stuff is, that's an interesting piggy bank. And of course they have t-shirts and stuff too. I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to go to the right and check out to the right a little bit more and then I'm going to go swing my way over. There's a lot of iron stuff in there. Looks like pretty much everything in here is for sale. These are reproductions, but some are still pretty cool. <laughs> You've got tons of Coke and Pepsi openers. Let's see here. This is the Centennial, so Atlanta 1996. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while and it's still in its packaging. You've got grinders, you've got saws. And you could literally, you could literally, um, this is for the old smoking days. Joe's is for camel cigarettes. You used to be able to do the camel cash. Man, there's a ton of a ton of iron stuff in here. Coonskin caps. There's some more interesting stuff back there. I'm going to go take a look. Janice Joplin Avenue. This is definitely pretty cool. Roadside attraction now. Yes, some of these are definitely 
reproductions, but still pretty cool. Huh. Yep, that is true. Busted knuckle problem. These are pretty cool. Even if they are reproductions, still pretty cool. And even more iron hooks and somebody does a lot of work on these. Let's go take a look at some other sections, shall we? What's the old joke say? Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Well, you better let him out. Huh. Something tells me that this is probably reproduction stuff. We got a lot of neat glass work in here too. And it looks like virtually everything is in here. So look at all the grinders. Yeah, these are all these are all reproductions of old of old bags. Look at some of these. Coke fountain drink machine. At least a little one. Look at all the old records, too. Love all this old glass. Looks like there's a little bit of fountain glass sprinkled in and amongst it, too. So if you were a big fan of fountain glass, and we'll check out the Rockabilly Diner here in a minute. Looks like it's really popular. There's a lot of people back there. But we are going to just keep looking around. All this neat stuff. There's a whole other wing. There's some oats. And of course, like any place, we definitely have some t-shirts. Pocket knives. Looks like they've got some fudge and stuff too. Huh. We've got a bunch of Coke bottles for sale too. And there's something that you don't see every day. It's the 7-Up. 1776? Yeah. Man, this this place just keeps going and going. Oh, look, it's more it's more reproduction stuff. It's an interesting mix. Maple tree spigots. So if you were doing maple. Huh. We even have some, some antiques for sale in here too. I bet some of y'all have some of these books. It's a whole bunch of Southern living recipe. Yep, L for Lodge. So they've got some Lodge cast iron, older stuff. Country Peddler. You know what? This is pretty cool. Indianapolis 500. Too shiny, I can't see what's on the bottom, but if you're into the Coke stuff, they've got a they've got a lot of Coke bottles to choose from and 
I imagine if you look long enough, you can probably find whatever city you're looking for if you collect Coca-Cola. Okay, so I don't know what's out back. This looks like old barns and stuff, and they've really outfitted it. Maybe they have, maybe they have something that they do during the summertime here. I don't know. Pretty big area. It's well kept. You've got more stuff. I don't know. I don't know if there's more antiques and stuff in here. Maybe. Yep, that was me tripping. Wow. Well, they sell a little bit of everything. Well, anyway, let's go in here and check out that rockabilly place. One interesting little thing. Yes, these are outhouses, but interestingly enough, they are modern outhouses with actual running water. So here's the cool thing. This definitely looks like a 1950s diner. It's pretty cool. We're going to stop and I'm going to get something to eat in here. So I will check out what you guys in a minute. I love that quote. Our food is cooked as ordered, so if you're in a hurry, there is fast food 15 miles in either direction. The prices are a little bit more expensive than they used to be, but it's still pretty cool. <laughs> this is what we got going here. You know that you're in an old school place when you order a milkshake and it comes in the old school glass. But you also get the metal cup that they made it. Well guys, that Rockabilly Cafe was pretty awesome. This whole place was pretty awesome. And uh, I can't wait to come up here again and check it out. So I am off to go on some more journeys. Until then, why don't you go on some journeys of your own? See you next time. Bye-bye.